Hi everyone, how you doing? I hope you're doing very well. I've been asked a question uh, by Sheep Among Wolves. Uh, a new channel to me, I've not dropped in on this person before, but I asked a question on his site and I told him about uh, my attendance at the 1969 Melbourne Assembly where I met Nathan Knorr. Nathan Knorr was giving the Sunday closing address. Now I'm going to share that with you. Um, but on the first day of the assembly, something really comical occurred. Uh, and I'm going to share that with you as well. Something I've just never forgotten, even though six at the time, this has been sort of indelibly printed in my memory. And so I'll share that with you. So uh, I hope you like it. What else do I remember about 1969? Well, something else happened to a young six-year-old Jehovah's Witness little boy besides nearly dying. We attended our first, well, I attended my first International Assembly in Melbourne. Now, I know that we, at the time, our vehicle was uh, a VW Combi. So we set off from Sydney to get to the Assembly. And it's a few hours drive, you know, ask any Aussie, they'll tell you it's a few hours drive to drive from Sydney to Melbourne. But we did it, back in the 70s, 1969 to be precise. <laughs> and um, when we got there, we had to stay at this caravan park. And I think the name of the caravan park, or the spare ground where we all pitched up, I think it was called Bacchus Marsh. The Aussies will can confirm that if the Aussies are listening to this uh, video. But is there a place called Bacchus Marsh somewhere outside Melbourne? But anyway, in 1969, we pitched up there. But on the first day of the assembly, we were late. But not just the only ones who were late. There were quite a few people running late. But the brother had already taken to the podium. So he was more or less saying to the assembly hall back then, please brothers, can you all take your seats? And most of them had taken their seats. They were all sat down and they were all quite comfortable. But we were late. So we were just walking across the field and we noticed that there wasn't any room. Because, you know, as you look around, you think, wow, it's packed out this. And we couldn't see any spare seats. But the brother made an announcement from the uh, podium and he said um, to the ministerial servants, who were obviously attending to the needs of the assembly, he was saying, bring out those spare chairs and, put, and lay them at the front. So they started laying out all these chairs. So we thought, oh, at least some chairs are coming out. But there didn't seem to be enough chairs to accommodate all those that were late. And there was uh, many, many dozens of people that were coming across that field and we were in that big bunch. <laughs> so he made the mistake of saying there's some chairs here brothers and uh, some of the young brothers that were in our little group uh, they started to up the pace a bit up the ante thinking that they could uh, outpace everybody and get one of the chairs before anyone else and my dad clocked this uh, he noticed what they were trying to do and my dad's got a family of uh, two boys and a girl and he's got a wife so naturally he needs five chairs so my dad notices that these brothers are putting on a bit of a fast pace walk, shall we say. Olympic standard, you know. And my dad decides to match that pace with, with his walking so that he can sort of get level with them. So that he's got a fighting chance of getting one of these um, chairs at the front. Then the, little, the brothers, they start upping their pace even to a greater amount. And I'm looking around as a six-year-old little Jehovah's Witness boy at this group like this, left and right, and I've noticed that everybody's starting to panic a bit, thinking they're not going to get a chair. So, I'm seeing these like um, quite elderly sisters and they're starting to, you know, force the pace a bit so that they can get a chair. And that made me laugh, that, because I just looking around like that and everybody's making this 
beeline for all these spare chairs. So I starts laughing. And then I noticed that my dad started running. He started running for these spare chairs. And then I, I remember shouting, go on dad, go on. <laughs> I'll never forget it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's just cut this story short now. But let's just say that a six-year-old Jehovah's Witness little boy was never more proud of his father than that day. And when, I, when my dad got that row right at the front for all those five, <laughs> I absolutely cheered as if he'd won the Blue Ribbon event. <laughs>